Hello friends, welcome to my virtual classroom. So our next lesson is about transformation. So I'll uh, quickly go over the types of transformation we have. So there are only three types of transformation. You guys have probably learned that in your school. You start learning about transformation in grade five, you do that in grade six, in grade seven, in eight, and in grade nine as well. All right, so please pay attention if you want to do, if you want to have a quick review, so you can be benefited from, uh, from watching this video. So the transformation, there are three types of transformation. One is translation. Translation means if this is your shape, you're uh, sliding, your translation is a kind of sliding, sliding your shape up, right, down, left. It could be like in every direction, but do remember that the, root, uh, the orientation of the shape doesn't change. So orientation means, for example, if you are sliding this shape, if you're sliding this, uh, translating this shape, it could go in the same orientation. So slide up, right, down, oops, sorry, <laughs> down and left. You're not changing the rotation orientation, like you're not sliding it this way. So you're not changing the orientation. You're not, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, oh, let's see, I have to pick it up, sorry. You're not, because, I, I, it's a foam, so it's just getting stuck to the board. So you're not changing the rotation like this when you're sliding it down. Okay, so if you're doing only translation, then only translate it to down, up, left, right. Don't change the orientation. All right. So reflection is you have a line of reflection and you have the same shape on the opposite side. So there's a flip. Okay, there's a flip and the distance from the line of reflection should be same. So this should, distance should be same with, from this uh, shape. All right, this is very important when you're doing reflection. A lot, of, a lot of students do that when they're doing reflection. One shape is over here and one shape is far away from the line of reflection. So the distance is not same. So if the distance is not same from the line of reflection, then that's not a proper reflection, that's wrong. All right, it's not reflection, then it could be probably translation. It is considered as translation or Depend if your orient if your orientation is changed, then it could be considered as rotation. In rotation, the orientation change. Do you see how the arrow is upward? It's also uh, translating to the right, and it's also changing its orientation. So going this way. So this is called rotation. So there are different degrees of rotation. Um, ninety degree of rotation, two seventy five, one eighty degree. 275 so there's different degrees of rotation the more uh, the higher you grade uh, the higher your grade is then you'll be working on different types of uh, degrees of the rotation all right so this is like simple rotation so today i will be in this less, uh, lesson i will be focusing on translation so here i'm gonna show you like how to just translate your shape i'm not changing the orientation of my shape and I will show you how to do the translation how to, according to the instructions I'm given on top of each question. All right, friends. So for this question, this is a translation of just three right. So we are not moving it up or left or down. We're just moving to three right. So you can pick any one vertex over here. So for example, let's pick one, this one, all right? So it will be easy for us to do the translation. So just moving three, right? So this point will come one, okay, one, two, three. So this point gonna come over here, which is this point. So let's name it A. So our A is over here. And now you're gonna go two grade back, go two grade back, one grade up from here. And how many grids going up from here? One, two, three, four. So we're gonna go four grids up from here. So one, two, three, four. And then it's coming down and connected to this point. So we'll connect it over here. And this is the translation of this shape. So you only pick any and we'll check from all the points. So this point is one, two, three away. This point, one, two, three away. So this is three to the right. This is a correct translation for this shape. Okay. All right, so now I'll be translating this shape, which looks like Z. <laughs> so translation rule is four left and three down. So again, you will pick any one vertex. So I'm gonna pick this one vertex over here. You can pick any. That's your choice. 
as long you follow the correct translation rule so i'm gonna pick this point and i'm gonna move this point to my four left and three down so this point is going to four left so one two three four and three down one two three so this a is over here now now this a is going two back so one two i have to follow the lines it's going one up one up then one back then two up then two to the left one down back and meet the starting point so i'm gonna color it so that you guys can see it easily so it's visible so this is a translation of this um shape so it's a kind of image so and i can i can check if all vertex all points are four left and three down let's pick this point so four left and three down one two three four one two three so it came over here so this point we can check from this point so this point is actually this point and we'll check if the translation is correct so four left one two three four one two three down look so it's also coming on this point we can even check this one for you guys so four left one two three four one two three down it's over here so this is a perfect correct translation for this shape so hopefully you friends find this video useful and again if you have any question do let me know leave a comment uh, leave your question in the comment box and i'll explain it to you in my next video and same thing for this one don't change the orientation so it's two make sure it's two right and three down so two right one two right one two three so this point gonna come over here this point is over here all right okay thank you for watching my video